All right, let's make a mini balloon column. For this, we're gonna need a little tile, a little square tile that's four by four inches. And these are rather cheap. Um, for my little mini column today, uh, you can use a dowel rod. I'll show you how to do that with a little uh, wooden thread spool and the balloon, this sunk inside the balloon, but to make it even cheaper, I'm gonna use these little cups and sticks that they sell. And I did get a little pack of these at Walmart for like $1.97. So this is gonna go on here and we're gonna make our little base for our mini column. And what we're gonna do is use some foam mounting tape, double-sided foam mounting tape. Now I found this at the Dollar Tree store. It's super glue foam mounting tape and it's cut into little sections like this. So it's already cut for you. It's only a dollar and it's super glue and it's really strong. So you're gonna take two of these. I've used the other stuff that I found at um, Lowe's. They're regular double-sided and it's very strong too. Um, a cheap little tile and I did find these rather cheap, I think 12 cents at Lowe's. And what we're gonna do is take two of these and make a little square. We're gonna stick it right in the center of that tile, one right beside the other one. I'll show you. And then push that down and then take the little double-sided sticky things off. So I'll show you with the dowel rod first and then I'll show you with a cup and stick. So if you were going to do the dowel rod inside of these, I found these little, I think, I forget what size they are, um, little wooden spools with these little dowel rods and you can take one around and just make sure your dowel rod fits inside. These ones are a little shorter, but I found 10 packs pretty cheap at a store, store called Pack Catans at a hobby store. You can cut your own dowel rods. This dowel rod I just cut to size. And I spray painted this pool uh, gold. But what you can do, or you could paint it with acrylic paint or you could spray paint it. But what you could do instead is sink it inside of an uninflated balloon. So what we're gonna do, is see, do you see where this is? This this bottom of the wooden spool? You're just gonna stick it right in the center. And you push it down and it's super, super strong. So it's not gonna come undone. And it's hard to pull off, but I have to pull it off so I can show you. <laughs> so, if we were going to use a dowel rod, we would take a dowel rod and see what I did with this one. Once you sink it in this wooden spool, it's so strong that it will not come out. So there's no way to get it out of there unless you're Superman or Superwoman. It's really tricky. So you're gonna take your dowel rod, sink it inside of an uninflated 260, whatever color you want. So I'm just gonna pull it down And if it won't go on, this dowel rod might be a little, um, I didn't have any problem with this other dowel rod that was not painted, but if you're having trouble putting it in there, you can inflate your balloon and let all the air out and then sink it inside after you do that and then slide it up like that. And then I'm gonna push all the air out, push it up like this. And so I'll have this and you wanna take a pair of scissors and just trim it down here so that there's a little bit left. Fold this up like this. It's coming up. Okay, just fold that up 
You don't have to tie it or anything. And then you're going to jam it into this little wooden spool. These are little wooden craft spools that they sell. And I found a 20 pack. Pretty cheap. So you just sink it right inside of there. And then you put your double sided sticky tape and stick it down and then you have your balloon pole. So now I will show it to you with the cup and stick. All you do is basically the same thing, but I'm gonna build it with a cup and stick because it's a little bit taller. So these are taller ones. But my cups and sticks are 20 inches long, which is good for a mini uh, column. So I'm going to take my little cup and stick one of these stickies on one side and stick a sticky, double-sided sticky on the other side. Peel it off at the bottom here. Peel off each side of this little thing, these little tabs like this and then stick it in the center of your tile and push it down. And then you're gonna wanna take a little end cut off of a balloon. I'm just gonna do it this way. These white poles, you're not gonna see them and I'd like it to be white for the center anyway. And then you're gonna jam this inside of your pole. So I'm gonna pull this up a little bit and ram it it right in there and kind of twist it down turn it and these are a little flimsier than the dowel rods but they will work just fine if you're careful <laughs> so I jam it in there and it's pretty snug in there you can hot glue these inside if you want but there's no reason if you have like balloon scraps that you want to get rid of it's pretty strong so if you could see that so let's build our balloon column uh, and you can do a large column the same way as this mini column. It's easier to show you on this video how to do a mini column. But if you were to do a column with 11 inch balloons, you would use these. They're called uh, knot lamps. You can get them from Ikea. They're a little more expensive at Walmart. I think they're like eight, just under $8, maybe $7.90 seven cents or something similar to that at Ikea and they're not lamps and they have um all these oh I don't know what I did with the poles but all these poles they go up five five poles go up and when you get towards the top if it's not long enough you can use because they're stretchy so say let me see I have them over here say your balloons are stacked and you stack them up and you want to go higher, you use uninflated balloons. You, you could tie them around the pole or you could tie them around these balloons. I go two rows under and just stretch it and use uninflated balloons to take it higher. That's all you need to do. But that way you don't have to buy a third knot lamp. You can buy a third knot lamp and just use these sections to make it taller if you want to do it that way. But what we're going to do set this over here we're gonna throw these away <laughs> and um, my 11 inch balloons if you're gonna use 11 inch balloons and you want to make a big column on the bases like that you want to inflate them to a 9 inch size now I'm gonna use little tiny balloons like this instead of big ones to show you how to make a mini column but th the concept is the same so you can use the back for a big column of uh, two chairs and then you just measure so if it's 11 inches and you want it to be not each balloon to be nine inches you measure nine inches in between the backs of two chairs but i'm going to use water jugs which you can use too and they will work just fine for your columns so you would measure nine inches in between these if you want to use water jugs. But for my mini column, I'm going to measure two and a half inches. So oh, let's see. So just about two and a half inches. And that's going to be the space between my water jugs. And I'm going to test that with one of my balloons. I have them 
inflated right here and it's going to run right between so how you're going to do that if it was an 11 inch balloon you would just inflate it but mine's going to be these little five inch balloons and you're going to over inflate it and then i'm going to run it through these and let the air out until it goes right through there without like caving in it will easily go through and the same with the nine inches and this is the size that i want so i will tie that and i think i need one blue one all my other ones are blown up just for the sake of showing you this so i'll do it again blow it up let that air out right till it slides right through like this easily through without like squishing down on the sides and that's going to be my little two and a half blue one so what i'm going to do i'm going to set these aside we'll pretend we inflated all the balloons already for our little mini balloon column and what you want to do it's important if you're going to make several balloon designs or several columns you're going to transport these you're going to want to use what i like to use are 55 gallon drum bags these have less static as you can see they're my favorite thing to use they're lightweight they don't seem to like stick together like some of the contractor bags i've used have they have a lot of static in them those are really nice to transport your balloons in the 55 gallon drum bags so look for those but if you're going to transport them on the little bases you want to cover the bases and i'm going to cover them with I found rolls of shiny paper or whatever you want to cover them with. I found this at the Dollar Tree. And it's silver on one side. You can see it. And gold on the other side. So it could be either silver or gold, which is really nice. So you want to make sure you cover these. Just because the bottoms and corners of these are really sharp and they can pop the balloons. So we're going to pretend this is covered. Okay? But it's not. So it's okay. I'm not transporting it anywhere. And to build our column, and let me let me show you real quick. I'm gonna pretend this is a three footer for the very top of my mini column, but it's an 11 incher. But I wanna show you to how I make that nice and round. So this is an 11 incher and you're gonna inflate it. I want this nice and round for the top. So, yeah, a little bit bigger, so I'm going to inflate that, and it does not look round like a three-footer. looks like an egg. <laughs> I'm going to push the air out, push it down, and force the air up towards the top of the balloon and tie it and kind of roll that up so that's nice and round. So it's like a mini three-footer. It's not really a three-footer, but... It'll look perfect on top of my mini column. Now to build the column, we have a bunch of these little, you should have little red, blue, I'm gonna make it red, white, and blue, balloons blown up to a two and a half inch size. So what you wanna do, I'm gonna pick, um, whoops. <laughs> I'm gonna pick red, white, and blue. And okay. and. I'm using red, white, and blue, so you have to pick one color to be double because the columns are built in quads, so like sets of four. So I'm gonna pick the white one because red and blue are the dominant colors and white will be the extra color. And I think it'll look, I think it look, would look weird with two red and one white and one blue. So white's the lighter color. It's just gonna look better all the way around the board with two white, one red, and one blue. So you have to think about that. If you only have three colors, which one do you want doubled? So I'm gonna double the white one. So that means all my uh, blue balloons will be tied to a white one and the red balloons will be tied to a white one. And to put them on the column, I need to lift this up just a hair to show you. I'll just, I'll just lift it up a little. We're going to build this, let's say, by making a quad. We're just going to take our two balloons, a blue and white one, and push it over 
this way and then take this is going to be opposite you don't want the red right beside the blue one you want it like this so the whites on the opposite side take the red and the white one and push it over this way and then shove it down to the bottom so there's a, a little quad all together right like that and this is really a cheap flimsy pole so you can bend it and straighten it out and you're going to build just build this the whole way up the pool but i'm going to show you an easy way to do it so to see the red and the white and the blue and the white what you want to do is if this is matching your next row is red and white you want to go on the opposite side of where the red one go over here and this is going to get pushed towards the red one right like that from the opposite side so this is sitting over here so go on this side of the pool even with the big balloons and and push that over i'm just going to hold it there until i get the blue and white one i'll hold it this way so you can see and then you're holding this over here and then you see the blue and white one stack that up like it's the same way and then go on the opposite side of the pole and push the blue and white one so that it's sitting right on top of the other blue and white one like this and shove it down and then it'll go either way you want it to spiral either this way or this way it'll kind of sit in that groove i'll spiral it this way so you have just like this and i'll show you again because we have to go the whole way to the top so you'll see okay the next row it doesn't matter like where you could turn it any way you want to but you want to see that this blue and white one are on this we'll stack them right on top of each other and go to the opposite side of the pole and push it towards the same color right like that and then take your next couple and your red one's gonna sit right on top of the red one and go to the opposite side of the pool and push it over towards it so that it sits right on top and just push the quad down and then you can stack it like this the whole way up but i'm going to do a spiral so i'm just going to turn it a little bit so it sits in the groove like that and then we're going to build our way up i think i can finally show you with it sitting there take another blue and white and a red and white and you can see this blue one i'm going to turn it so it's the same way it's almost better just to hold it this way so the blue and white it's gonna get pushed over here you don't want to go like this because that does not match so the blue and the white will be sitting just go on the opposite side of the pool will be sitting right on top of the other blue one and then you want to shove this over so that from the opposite side to the red one sitting right on top of the red one and push it down and then Turn it a little bit so it sits in the groove. Okay, red and white, blue and white. And we're at the top of our pole now and push it down in the middle. And when you put your top on of your column, I'm gonna show you this will be our pretend three footer. I'm going to put it down here now. You want these balloons to be up just a little higher than your pole. In and, and this case, we can trim that pole if you need to, but these are sitting up just a little bit higher than the pole, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. And what you want to do is stretch this, take it down about, and what you'll do on a regular column, you'll, you'll tie an uninflated balloon on a three-footer right up above that knot. You'll, I usually tie two uninflated. If this was a three-footer, I'd take like a white, two white balloons, and I'd tie right in the middle, up above the knot here, up above it, so that it holds that on. I'm not going to do that on this on this case because this isn't a three-footer, <laughs> but I would take it and then pull it down two rows. And I would crisscross it back and forth on the pole like this. Like I tie that down and I crisscross it back and forth like this. 
and then I would tie it. So I'd pull down below two rows of these top two balloons, the uninflated ones, if it were a giant column, but it's a mini column. So I'm just gonna stretch this knot because this is plenty long and I'm gonna take it down two rows just for the heck of it. And then I will take it up, this little knot up, and then tie it to one of these knots of the little round ones. And I'll knot it two times. And I'll do the same thing with the three footer and it'll sit right on top there. And there is our little mini column. You can see that. And that's how you make a big column and that's how you make a little mini column. And I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial for today. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And every Thursday, I'm planning on coming out with new videos. So keep tuned. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching.